Okay, guys, thank you for joining in. My name is Federico, and thank you for your help uh, joining the Project Lift uh, project. With the aim is to bring uh, all chairlift gondolas and cable cars to the Microflex simulator. Of course, we're gonna improve the OpenStreetMap data. Moving on, the problem is that we have to go from uh, a point A, which is the valley at the bottom, to a point B, which is the, the mountain station. Uh, you can recognize here the Matron uh, Cervino. Uh, in order to bring uh, our skiers uh, to the slopes, and they, so they will enjoy the ride. We have to create a ride, of course, so we have to tighten uh, um, cable from point A to point B. And there it is. Cable goes from point A to point B, but we have some problems because in the middle, during the trip, we have some mountain peaks and of course some trees. Uh, that's a problem because uh, our skier will go through the mountain uh, we are ourselves, we don't want this. So we have to fix the problem. In the reality, this goes like this, point A, point B, and the lift that goes through the mountains. It's not correct. We have to add some pylons to the lift in order to keep our cable separated from the terrain. Oh, this is the same situation of before, but no more straight line, but uh, a segmented line separated from the terrain. Okay, how we can do that? And of course, this is the same ride uh, in, um, corrected in uh, Google Earth uh, with all the pylons. How are we gonna do that? I prepare for you a file with uh, all the lift that needs some attention in uh, OpenStreetMap. You download the file, this is the USA one, Double click on that uh, with your favorite browser. And uh, you will see a list of all the stations that need some attention in the USA for this file. But of course, all the world needs a lot of attention. Uh, let's zoom in. Uh, it's, it's a map, so you can uh, scroll uh, with your uh, mouse wheel and you can pan with your uh, left click. Let's go to Colorado, which of course needs a lot of attention. They have mountains. Uh, we're going to Aspen, uh, it's nice because there you have an airport so you can take off from the airport and go up to the mountains and look at all those uh, lifts. Uh, all points identify a lift that needs some attention. Trade to the point, uh, this, well, let's start with, uh, well, I don't know, Meadows, Tayak Express, okay, Tayak Express, click on it. And you go directly in another tab to openstreetmap.org. Of course, if you are not logged in, you should uh, register. You should uh, have your um, your login. Uh, so you click register here. Um, this is register the order. It's Italian. Uh, type in your data, your password, and login. Answer. Ah, here we go. This is the OpenStreetMap data map. Zooming in. Uh, the, this is Tayaka Express, what we are going to edit. Uh, you, mm, you have uh, the lift are in red. You click on it. You can zoom in with your uh, scroll wheel. Uh, you can click uh, with your mouse. What is the goal of the project? The goal of the project is to add pylons. Where are pylons? Those are pylons. You can recognize the shape. Uh, and of course, you can recognize uh, the uh, shadow on the terrain. Outward pylons, really simple. Okay, you click on the lift, you click again to edit the point, and you click on that point, and you should name this as area way pylon. That's it. Click, 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 click. It's three clicks. Um, you made three, one, one, two, three clicks. Very well, pylon. Here you go. All the way down to the end of the lift, you scroll. No pylons here. Here's, here's one pylon. Go ahead, go ahead. Another pylon, another pylon. 
Okay, interesting, interesting. you saw uh, difference between uh, the imagery here. Uh, it's pretty difficult to see pylons here, so maybe I can change my background settings using another type of map. You can click here. Uh, this was as real imagery, but you can, of course, choose between Bing aerial imagery and uh, as reward imagery clarify, which is pretty nice. It is um, older than as reward imagery. And of course, map box satellite, uh, all those um, backgrounds. So uh, I think this one is good. See our pylons here. We can go add placing pylons. Click, click, click. Very simple. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you don't need the background uh, overlay, you can avoid it. One, two, three. And there is one. There is one. Okay. If you made a mistake, uh, say, say you put a pylon here. No worry. There is no pylon. You see. Uh, Ctrl Z and uh, you undo, or you can use the buttons up here. Uh, please don't uh, move uh, the tray. Okay, you don't have uh, really to match the imagery. Okay, because um, some imagery is uh, shifted uh, from the the original track. And uh, so please avoid uh, doing that. Only place pylons for this project. Or if you're a mapper, you know what to do. Okay, we made some changes to this guy, which is Taihack Express. Uh, we have the name of the chair, mm, but you can also add a lot of more data uh, to be more precise. Um, occupancy, capacity, duration, uh, uh, if it has a bubble or not. Uh, uh, we have no data to Taihack, so maybe we can Google it. Another tab, Google it, Taihack Express in Haspen. Let's see if we have some information. SkyResult.info is very nice for your information about uh, Skylift. So we have, um, oh my goodness, it's a four person, high speed chairlifts. So we can put four person, occupancy four, capacity. Capacity is here 2,400 person per hour, 2,400 person per hour. And duration, duration, seven minutes and 40. Seven minutes and 40. Uh, we don't have any other information. So we can save our, our progress. Uh, it is not mandatory to save progress for each lift. You can save progress anytime you want. So if you want to edit uh, some more lift in the Aspen area, you can zoom out. Of course, you don't need to go back to my map, but you can zoom out to some other lift. And I know that are a lot to be edited. Okay, this one here. What's Buttermic Express? We have it? Yes, of course we have. Uh, okay, we have uh, another kind of problem here. Uh, the user has placed pylons, but those pylons are not connected to the lift. Uh, that's an error. So you can click on the pylon and press delete on your keyboard to delete them. Okay, and in the meanwhile, we can add the correct pylon on the lift itself, on the, on the way itself. By, by the way, this is a way in OpenStreetMap, and uh, the point is a node. Two are pylons, one, two, three, are well pylon. One, two, three, are well pylon. Go away. Speed up, are well pylons. It's not here. Can't see the shadow. Are well pylon. Oh, it's not there. Oh, you can misclick. Uh, maybe mm, this time I made a mistake. I had a uh, railway station. No problem. Undo it. We have our point and define it as a railway pylon. Of course, it's a railway pylon. Oh, here y'all. Oh, here y'all. Well, oh, misspelled. Uh, 
uh, if you don't find uh, the aero pylon in the search box, you can type aero, 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 aero pylon, and here it is. Going ahead. It's very funny. It's like um, hide and seek. You seek the pylons. Mm. In this case, uh, they are pretty easy to, to find, but uh, when you find them in the forest, very difficult. Okay, we added the lift. Of course, we must edit all the data. We must, we can. It's not mandatory. Western, but Merck Express in Colorado. Uh, four person. Per person occupancy and the five minute fifty, five minute fifty, and of course the capacity is the one thousand two hundred people. One thousand two hundred people. Okay, we made uh, a lot of changes here. Uh, Fifty change to OpenStreetMap data. You can save it now. So press save and give it a name. No problem for the name. I can I call them Aspen uh, Lifts uh, Pylons, and I can upload the data to OpenStreetMap. It's uploading, and that's it. Thank you for improving the map around picking Colorado. And take you guys. The next time I will um, take the data from OpenStreetMap. Your pylon will be added to the project. Thank you so much.